Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about how to write Java SQL program using Apache NetBeans ID. So let's go add here Apache NetBeans. So right here I am using Apache NetBeans ID 11.1 percent. So you can use anyone. Now here after first we need to create the project. So go add your file here after new project. And here you can find the Java with Maven, Gradle, and and here you need to select HTML5 Java script. Now here you can create the Java script by using first option HTML5 JS application, or you can select HTML5 JS application with Node.js and here HTML5 JS application. So one by one, let's see. So first I'm going to select HTML5 JS application and here you can get this description create a new HTML Java script application. Now here after let's click at here next and here or giving the project name so you can give any meaningful name so giving at here test one is my project name and here this is the project location if you want then by clicking browse you can change that now here after click on text and here you can if you are online you can select add here download online so add here I am not online this time now here you can select template so by clicking add here browse you can select so I am not going to select so add here selecting no site template now here after click add here next and here this tools that selected it's fine here after click on finish so add here there is a test one project it's a created and here you can see there are so many things inside there so this is not required so i'm going to close that now here you can see this is the js javascript file now here or oh, inside to this index HTML going to um, do some modification now here after this is not required and here let's give the title some meaningful name so giving add here title name Java script program now after doing this so div sanction that is not required so add here to write to Java script inside dot HTML. So you need to use add here script tag. So here select you can select anyone from here, and here you get element script, and here this all description characters, all those things here you, you can get. Now here, so this is a starting. We need to use add here closing queue. So closing it's added. Now here after let's use alert and inside alert going to write hello world hello world now here after when it run so we need to add here so there is a one thing it means add here something missing so we need to close add here semicolon after there is no any problem so when it run now here after Go add here this part and here you can select any browser like Chrome Internet Explorer is Firefox. So selecting add here Chrome. After selecting this, you can right click and here you can run the file. So add here, let's go run the file. So add here, since I selected Chrome, so add here by using alert method. Here it's a giving local host and here hello world, it's a display. So that means uh, JavaScript it's uh, working fine. Now here after the next is let's uh, create one new project. So I selected this option. Now here after going to select HTML JS application with Node.js. Here this is the description. Now click on next and here here you can just keep the project name. So here we add here. Now when it done, click on next and here click on next. You can select anyone, whatever you like. 
so project it's a tester it's a created now here so this is uh, uh, for test run now here after the next same thing here you can find now let's do some modification here too now here this section that is not required and here giving the title of title and giving test js now here after we need to write at here a script tag so previously i was used this option here you can use this one also now here after opening and here this is at here closing now here after let's write alert and here this time going to write hello guys so when it done here you need to select the browser so selecting firefox okay now here right click and here run file so right here this time inside firefox it's a display hello guys there so right here it's working fine now here after let's close that and here i'm going to create new project so this time i used this option here this option used now this time going to use HTML JS application so exiting source here yeah, let's click so there is uh, one source I have so or uh, there are already a uh, one JavaScript file is there so you need to select at your site here after click on the browse so go to Java and here desktop so inside desktop there is a uh, one folder there now here after inside uh, let's uh, do back or here after it's a little slow okay now here after i'm going to select once again so here now here after simply let's uh, cancel once again going to try click on the browse now here click on open it's automatically it's taken now here after the next is uh, project name if you want then here you can change click add here browse to select the source folder so source folder i'm going to select to add here again java script so add here this is desktop now click on open now when it's done click on finish so add here js it's automatic click on so inside java s, java s folder so this is exiting folder so then uh, this is the exiting folder and inside there you can find uh, this all component like uh, sam so this is html and here two folder and here one files two files there one is html next is json so here if i click double click on SAM. so here there is so one sam.html file is there now here also if you want then you can execute this one so it's a little or different now here to execute here you need to so let's select this time microsoft s and here when you execute this one run file so this time microsoft s browser will open and there you get the alert message and there it's the printing hello world so this is the three different ways we can run javascript program using apache netpaint id okay so add here for third option their file must be exit so add here this option file must be exit okay exiting files exiting source that required. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.